guys, it's Tilly and... Huh, what's that? It's a... It's a box. And uh... It's addressed to me. That sounds promising. I know what this is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It is my Quarterly Co. unboxing. I am so excited. This is the first time I will be doing an unboxing of Quarterly. And basically, I have no idea what I'm expecting, but I know it's going to be fantastic. So, shall we begin? I think so, because what is in the box? A few people who didn't like my giant knife skills in my last unboxing video, so I just teared this one open because it's definitely funner. Ooh, this was packaged with radness in LA. And I've always wanted to go to LA. Okay, what we got, what we got. So this book box was, book box <laughs> was curated by S.J. Kincaid, who's the author of The Diabolic. So in this box, it will include one copy of her book, uh, a few goodies, and I think there's actually two more books in there as well. So there's three books in this box. Wow, I have three books. Oh my god, this is so exciting. <laughs> the first thing that I see is that we have a signed sticker on where it says be deceived or be destroyed, which is a quote from the Diabolic. We've got a little advertisement card for Scythe. A perfect world comes with a heavy price. That sounds kind of promising. Now we have information from SJ Kincaid. So I think this includes like a letter to the quarterly subscribers and her thoughts when it came to writing this and just different things that she has in relation to this box. Yes, yeah, so this is basically telling you what there is in here and what everything means and why it's included in the box as well. So we have a pin which says bookworm on it and it is really cool. I have these denim overalls that I wear and I totally collect these pins for them so it's going to go straight onto that. Ooh, I've actually heard of this game before. It's called Love Letters. I haven't actually played it, although I do know people who have and they actually really enjoy the game. So Love Letter is a game of risk, deduction and luck for two to four players. So you've got to get your love letter to Princess Annette's hands while keeping the other players' letters away. This is going to be really fun to play with my family. They're all pretty crazy but I'm hoping that they will enjoy it. And now comes to the actual book. So first up we have Un Wind by Neil Shutterman. This one's so nice. It's The Scorpio Rules by Erin Bao. And lastly, in all of its amazing glory, we have the hardcover of The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. And it's also got personal notes from her all on the inside as well. I don't know if you guys can see all those like little tabs throughout there, but there's quite a few, so it's going to be really exciting to see what her thought process was and comments that she has throughout the book. So really quickly for you guys, I'm going to go through what these books are about so you guys can know if you want to read them or not. So in this book you have Diabolics. So these are basically these like inhumane robots robot thingies that are actually human, they're just kind of modified humans, and they are pretty much assigned to one person their entire life to protect, and they can protect them by killing other people, killing themselves, or in this case, dressing up as the person they are meant to protect to save them from going to a really evil court where bad things could happen to them. The world building in this book is absolutely phenomenal, and S.J. Kincaid's writing is so, so amazing, and yeah, I'm sure that it is quite action-packed and a lot of you guys will enjoy it. Unwind by Neil Shutterman sounds like it's going to be a real thriller on the edge of your seat read. So in this it's kind of set in a world where between the ages of 13 and 18 your parents can pretty much choose if they want you to stay as a child or they can choose to have you pretty much cut up and your organs delivered to different people. So it's kind of like an outing if you don't like your child you can just go and say yep take them and they can create more life by giving their organs to different people. That sounds totally okay, right? In this you have three main characters, Connor, Risa and Lev, and you have Connor whose parents find him difficult to control, Risa who is a ward of the state and is not talented enough to be kept alive, and Lev who is a tire so he's basically raised just to be unwound, which basically means having your organs dished out. But together these three might have a chance to escape and so you follow their journey as they try not to get unwound. So in the Scorpion Rules by Erin Bow, you have this world where your children can be held captive so they that if you do go to war, if you do something wrong, they will be killed in your place. So you have Duchess and Crown Princess Greta who is being held so that her family won't go to war and all of a sudden everything changes when a young boy called Elian also becomes a hostage in this situation and there is something bigger happening in the picture that puts both of them at danger. It sounds like it will also be very intense and action packed and I'm very very excited to get around to reading it. There you guys have the YA unboxing of Quarterly and I really really did enjoy this box and I definitely am going to look into getting another one and if you guys want to take a look at it as well I'll leave all the links to their website and everything down below so you guys should check them out and get very excited because I expect amazing things for the next box that they're going to have. Thank you to Quarterly for sending me out this book. I really am so grateful and have enjoyed it and I cannot wait to start reading these books. So that is all for now. Hopefully you guys have a lovely bookish day and that great things happen to you. Bye. But there's one way that I find is the best way to really help unboxing these and that's fire! <laughs>